Hello everyone, I welcome you all to this 30 days masterclass series on electric vehicle design using MATLAB Simulink. Today is day 16, battery management system. I welcome you everyone here. I welcome Ashwini, Mohit, Gaming, XD, Prince Kumar, Priyanka, Sai Krishna, Nisha Kumari. Welcome, warm welcome uh, participants. Aditya, Tushar, Suraj, Karthik, Gautam. Warm welcome participants. Mohaideen, Tamari Chilvan. Warm welcome. Yes, Rigvit Sharma. Kiran Banchal. Yes, Mr. Karthik, we passed 15 days. Almost we crossed 50% of the topic. I hope you have enjoyed this last 50% 50, 50 of the class. Nilesh Singh, Nitin, yeah, Nitin Panchal, Devi Shatar. Yes, thank you. Ashish Singh, Yogendra Kumar. Welcome, welcome, warm welcome participants. Very good evening, uh, Nilesh. Hi, well, Arvind. Good evening, Arun. Very good evening, Prabhakar. Vedant Kutkalni, how are you? Great, doing great. Thank you, thank you, thanks for your wishes. So, uh, you, about the Pantech, Pantech is an educational equipment manufacturing company uh, for triple E, ECE, computer science related products, you can get it. And uh, to help 10 million students learn the technology in easy way, so this is our main vision. So, according to this, uh, we are running a uh, few more uh, master class uh, which is going to start from uh, September 15th onwards. So, those who are all interested, so please join with that uh, in uh, topic. So, it's a generalized topic IoT master class series. I will share you the link in the uh, comment box after this live. So please check. So battery management system. So in this electric vehicle like this uh, kind of battery model is going to be here. And uh, see here inside this box there will be a bunch of battery cells. So it will be connected either series or parallel whatever it is as per the design procedure they will connect. Uh, in over the uh, battery so there will be additional uh, mechanisms like a uh, I mean uh, data transfer uh, system as well as the cooling system. So this is called the cooling system which is running over the uh, entire vehicle, entire uh, battery model. And uh, so the orange color denotes that the data tra transfer uh, system. So this data transfer system is used to transfer the battery current position to the main controller. Right, so this is just introduction to the battery management system. So let us check one by one. So as we know, the battery is a device to convert uh, chemical energy into electrical energy. So there are lot of types of there. So each and every battery will work on based on the chemical properties. Whenever you are charging or discharging the battery, then there will be a flow of electrons. And inside the battery, there will be chemical process may happen. So due to the rate of uh, current while you are, while it is in the intake or outtake then the uh, chemical process may, uh, speed of the chemical process may depends the how much amount of current is going to draw or infuse it. And what is BMS? So do you have any idea about the BMS? What is BMS? So just to share whatever you have in your mind. So what is BMS? Yes. What is BMS? So just to share your uh, questions. Yeah, thank you. Battery management system. Okay, battery pack. Yes, battery management system, Rabi Mata. Yeah. So what is its main function? Good evening, Logan Three. Control over battery, battery management system. Yeah, correct. BMS increase the battery life and control the parameter. Yes, exactly. Caretaker of battery. Exactly, Mr. Dhananjay. Caretaker of the battery. Technique to keep minimum SOC. Mathavi Kumari. 
not exactly manage the battery as per the load requirement yes yes battery management system is yes, correct yeah see let us check the battery management system so battery management system is a electronic circuit so it may be a, a analog electronics or digital electronics so this circuit uh, is going to give you this th three uh, major uh, functionality to uh, increase the battery life to enable the battery protections any kind of protections and to ensure the battery parameters as it is in the rated conditions so this three functions uh, is going to give you uh, to give you uh, as per the perfect manner so now the battery manage what is a, now uh, just tell me what is a battery management system battery management system is a electronic circuit to en to ensure your battery whether is it in the perfect conditions or not yes performance optimization is exactly ramudrai to balance the cell charging as well as the discharging yes correct so that's another function and that is a features of the bms what is the bms the bms is the electronic simple electronic circuit to uh, to ensure your battery uh, is whether is it in the right conditions or working conditions or not right so now uh, the bms is nothing but a simple electronic circuit so this may be a, like a analog electronics or digital electronics so in the analog electronics so we will use the sensors as well as the comparator and then amplifier and uh, protection circuits like analog protection circuits whereas in the ele digital electron uh, digital or microcontroller based uh, 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 electronic circuit so there will be sensors and then any one of the microcontrollers so the microcontroller will keep on monitor the sensor value like uh, uh, three basic sensors so what are if you know the three basic sensor we can uh, completely we can monitor the battery right so what is the three param basic parameters of the battery what is the basic three parameters of the battery can you please tell uh, mention in the comment box so what is the basic three parameters of the battery can you please comment in the comment box yes soc soc voltage dot temperature sensor voltage current safety current anode temperature current voltage yes mr uh, ramulu so the three parameters of the battery is voltage of the battery cell and current on the each battery cell and then temperature of the Bat, uh, battery so if you know these three parameters then you can uh, you can automate your entire battery with the electronic circuit and soc so and all other uh, deriving factors but uh, the three parameters of the battery is battery cell voltage and then battery cell current and then cell temperature so this three parameter if you know the perfect value of the three parameter then uh, you can build your own bms for your any uh, kind of requirement right so for that one uh, what is the uh, sensor uh, what kind of sensors you are going to use to sense these parameters what kind of sensors you are going to use uh, for, to sense this parameter yes what kind of sensors you are going to use the sense uh, to sense this parameter see for uh, battery uh, cell voltage you are going to use any uh, voltage divider method or uh, for high uh, high power applications you have to go with uh, any high accuracy sensors like uh, for the uh, for all these three things like um, uh, voltage current and then temperature so you have to sense the uh, temperature on different uh, locations so like a bottom of the body and the top of the body and side uh, both the side of the body so all these three things needs to be uh, perfectly placed over the battery to identify the param identify these parameters right so now uh, let us take the uh, battery cell equivalent circuit so in the equivalent circuit there will be a temp uh, uh, resistance right so this is the series resistance and then parallel resistance so this three uh, these two resistance 
may vary based on the based on the current flow right how the inside the battery cells uh, get overheated so whenever you are charging the, whenever you are discharging the current uh, so uh, in, inside the uh, due to the presence of these two temporary resistance the heat obviously that is i squared uh, i squared r so due to this factor uh, the temperature is going to rise so the point is now we have to limit the temperature whether uh, uh, ca whether the option to control the current or else you have to uh, allow external cooling system to reduce the factor reduce the temperature right so now the point is if you know that uh, if you know the current value if you know the current value then we can i indirectly we can identify how much of the temperature can uh, uh, can rise right first point second point whenever you are keeping the temperature resist uh, temperature sensor nearby the battery then we can when we can measure the uh, temperature of the battery right so with that also we can identify the uh, battery cell uh, battery cell temperatures so now uh, generally in the ev battery pack so there will be some assembly side right so some some battery will be in the some battery cells will be in the series as well as the bat, uh, parallel right so if you know if you connected entire thing then you will finally you will get a battery pack like this so now if you are charging the battery pack if you are charging the battery pack so uh, from uh, at any point of time so at any point of time you are going to take if you are going to take one is the positive and another one is the negative right so here you are going to allow the current and then here you are, you are going to uh, allow the current to exit suppose if it is in the uh, charging mode similarly he, like this so in the discharging mode so current will be in the this direction and then uh, return into the, this direction right so this is the battery back system so now let us come to the point uh, if you are allowing the battery uh, to charge the thing uh, to charge for certain level so in that case now we are going to charge the battery with the 12 volt i mean suppose let us take a 100 voltage battery 100 voltage battery so now we are going to allow uh, the battery with a plus and minus 100 voltage dc right so generally it will be 10 percentage higher than the actual required voltage so now if you are applied to this one what it will happen so the first uh, two cells right see actually suppose if you take this entire cell so there is a 4 plus 4 8 cells in the uh, series connection and then 8 cells in the parallel connection right so in the positive sides the two cells has been straight, straight away connected <laughs> rs or else we can say that these two cells only nearby the terminal terminal that is the output terminal similarly in the negative side also the two term two cells are connected, connected very near to the battery terminal so now uh, if you are uh, if there is any issues with the temperature or abnormal uh, current drop by the load or else abnormal uh, uh, current supply by the source if any of these issues happens then immediately first this four cells is going to get affected so the affected nothing but either it will be overcharging or over discharging so first these two thing may happen so then over the period this temperature will uh, the inside the as, actually as we know that the uh, battery basic principle whenever you are applying or discharging the battery and uh, inside the battery there will be chemical process so the flow of electron may happen right so the chemical process it's if there is abnormal uh, chemical process definitely there will be a temperature rise right so is it clear is it clear so just uh, check this one uh, like uh, whenever you are applying a voltage or discharging the battery so the first initially very near close to the terminal cells will be affected right so in that case in that case so now we have to allow we have to design one circuit so this here we have to design one circuit so let us take this one ah uh, yeah so in between here so so here we have to design one circuit to monitor each cell voltage current and then temperature right so if you monitor this each and everything so all the data should come to the microcontroller or any electronic circuits so let us take this is the microcontroller 
So in the uh, many manufacturers are providing a dedicated microcontroller for the BMS model. Right. And uh, see here uh, this uh, three things, uh, three data, if the microcontroller knows this three data, then automatically uh, the microcontroller can take a call to uh, what needs to be done for this battery pack. Because in the EV, if you take a hundred percentage, hundred uh, percentage uh, cost, so almost forty to sixty percentage cost is going only for the battery. Then other the forty percentage uh, to forty percentage is going for the remaining uh, mod, I mean motor and then other uh, electronic systems, right? So here the main uh, model is the battery model. So we have to ensure this model is perfectly running or not. Apart from the econo I mean cost wise, the second thing is there is a uh, serious issue with the uh, issue for the passengers. Right? If there is any abnormal uh, temperature rise due to that, uh, is there any explosive uh, situation happen, then uh, we should uh, provide the perfect safety, then only your vehicle will uh, reach the on road. Otherwise, uh, it will be like a prototyping. Right? So that's why we are going to provide, we have to provide a perfect BMS model for the battery systems. And in the EV, uh, generally there will be two types of battery. One is called the high voltage battery and then low voltage battery. The high voltage, actually the BMS generally required for the high voltage battery backup. So the main functions of the battery is, so first we have to uh, measure these three parameters like voltage of the cell and then temperature of the cell and then current of the cell. Right. So if you know these three things, then we can, we can estimate all these functions indirectly. Right, and uh, see here, this is the block diagram of the uh, battery management system. See here, this is the battery management system current sensor, and then a uh, voltage sensor, and then temperature sensor. So, this uh, three sensors will be placed in the battery management system. So, this is generally battery pack with the perfect uh, pack and then sealed. And now, the micro the BMS, the bot, battery management system, will sense these uh, three variables then the three variables so based on this three variable uh, see here the BMS will take care about the load management regenerative braking management charging management thermal management and then crash reductions so this also uh, this functions needs to be taken care by this model so now what is BMS so what it will be uh, inside the BMS right so let us check one by one and uh, see here, uh, so this is the generalized functionality and let us come to the thermal management system. So because the T uh, temperature is the main uh, factor, right? So let us take, this is the temperature battery. So here uh, we are three type of sensors is placed very near to the battery, right? So uh, temperature in and then temperature out and then body temperature, right? So whenever this three temperature is uh, varies, like suppose if it is keep on increasing, then what it will happen, this refrigerator system will take care, this uh, will keep on monitor this temperature and uh, whenever the temperature rises beyond the threshold level, then the refrigerator will, pa will uh, pass a cooling, uh, cooling oil or cooling water or cooling air, any one of the system needs to be flowed into the, flows into the battery and again it will return back to this one, refrigerator system. Right, so again it will reprocess it and then this system will keep on monitor, keep on vary. Similarly, if there is the temperature is very low conditions, suppose if it is in the um, less than the, the threshold level, then in that case again this uh, PTC uh, will PTC will take in care. Actually, here also we will mention the uh, temperature sensor and based on this, this will uh, infuse the heat. Right, so uh, again with this logic, uh, the temperature, entire temperature of the battery pack will be get monitored. And this is the external temperature and inside the temperature, uh, inside temperature of the each and every cell. So for that uh, one, we have to uh, take a current measurement. So from the current measurement, uh, we, can, uh, we can estimate the instantaneous temperature also. Right, so like that also we can uh, we can understand the BMS models. So now, uh, 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 what are the BMS functions? So that the uh, logic uh, the microcontroller should uh, monitor 
to measure it measure the individual cell voltage and temperature at a different points as close as the uh, i mean battery and similarly uh, current flows measure the current and then temperature voltage and the other things and uh, the same data needs to be communicated to the master one and uh, at the same time so each and every ev battery pack has a combination of cells so in that case there will be a um, unbalanced cell charging uh, may exit so in that conditions we have to enable all the uh, cells needs to be uh, charged or discharged on equal uh, level so in that case there will be two lo logic one is called the active as well as the passive cell balancing so that we will discuss in the next slides and it should uh, maintain the outside temperature with the external cooling systems and uh, it should uh, I, uh, detect the isolated uh, faults like if there is a over current or uh, in, over the period of time suppose if you are keep on drying the battery then what it will happen inside the battery there will be a uh, conduction medium uh, may create so between anode and cathode so next time whenever you charge the battery then it, may, it will automatically uh, tries to short circuit it so that kind of fault we have to isolate it and again the short circuit uh, conditions so uh, due to the external charging as well as the loading right so these functions needs to be uh, implemented with that particular electronic circuit so simply here let us take the bms conclusions so the bms is here so bms the output model are all of this one right the input model are voltage current and the temperature apart from this these are the functions so see here these are the functions apart from this there will be display devices so the display device is nothing but the display device is nothing but uh, we have to measure the battery parameters right like voltage and then current and then soc and then dod and other things and uh, what is the uh, balance amount and then what are, what are the uh, individual cell balancing so these display devices we have to estimate it so from this uh, voltage and then current uh, temperature so first we have to estimate the soc right so soc again in this 30 days topic we have uh, clear we have uh, mentioned soc estimation is a one of one of the topic so whenever we reach the topic then we will discuss the, that concept right and other thing also we have to estimate with the basic formulas yes amit verma when we connect ac any circuit then what we have three ways basically earth phase neutral we connect circuit only phase in the neutral dc circuit of like inverter ah your question is out of uh, this topic so let us check after the class let us check after the class yeah so now uh, this is the basic function of the uh, BMS model right so now let us check what is a balancing see here in this uh, BMS there will be an important uh, topic called the battery cell uh, balancing right so the battery cells uh, cell balancing so here what will be the sense uh, there will be two uh, balancing one is the active balancing and the another one is the uh, passive, passive balancing see here uh, in this one the active balancing nothing but during the uh, active balancing nothing but so it will first it will calculate how much is the affected cell and how much is the uh, healthy cell right okay so now uh, it will calculate the remaining capacity of the uh, maximum uh, maximum uh, energy so that needs to be overcome with the uh, next cells suppose if it is uh, keep on uh, keep on uh, overcharging or, or else uh, over discharging so in that case automatically this system will uh, uh, pass the energy pass the energy to the next one and it will keep on uh, keep on updating right so that is called the active uh, cell balancing so for that one the bms model will work with the basic uh, current and then voltage of the each and every cells similarly for the passive cells in the sense see here the passive balancing uh, in the sense uh, while generally it will be in the discharging mode uh, so it will wait till the maximum point of the affected cell 
so whenever it reaches and after that only the uh, so after that only the both the cells will connect to the circuit so like that uh, we can uh, we can integrate to the uh, microcontroller so that will take care of the all the functions of the active balancing as well as the passive balancing alternate link will be provided so please wait don't rush up so i will share you the alternate link also so please check So it's a keep on uh, make this a second. I will uh, yes. this is second utterance link will be provided. Yes, utterance form has been released, so please submit utterance. Yeah. Yes, so now uh, let us move to the uh, same block diagram. So earlier it was the generalized BMS, so now it is converted as a microcontroller. See here, uh, for this microcontroller, we will monitor all these things. For that one, uh, TI uh, gives you the better microcontroller, like uh, here TI and then microchip. Uh, and then uh, ST microcontrollers and then analog uh, analog micro uh, analog uh, incorporation so these guys are providing you better uh, microcontroller to implement the BMS models so I will share you uh, the reference design with this uh, end of this slide so please engage with the entire class I will send you the reference design of the TA yeah that the Infineon also uh, they are providing you the better microcontrollers and uh, so let us move to the demo so how this can be implemented to just move to the matlab and uh, so first let us start the battery uh, charging circuit see here uh, this is the battery bidirectional uh, charger so as we know that uh, we took a 24 volt battery I think so yeah so 24 volt battery 50 AH and then already 50 percentage uh, charged so this is the battery uh, rating conditions and now uh, we took a voltage as a 40 voltage is the DC bus voltage right so this voltage is uh, connected to the load so let, let us take this is a load model R load so here the load is 6 ohm okay so now the point is uh, the source will uh, supply a current to the load as well as the uh, at the same time the source will charge the battery so this micro this uh, convert controller like a uh, bidirectional controller will take in care about the charging as well as the discharging so now how can you charge the battery so there are there are few methods one is called the constant current charging as well as the constant voltage charging and automated one so like a constant current as well as the constant voltage so the, the out of these three uh, topic out of these three methods you have to do any one of this one right so now yeah uh, see here uh, this uh, source is that the source is isolated with the help of this ideal switch uh, whenever the switch if you are connected see here if you are connected then what it will happen what it will happen the source will supply a uh, voltage to the load as well as the battery so both are in the uh, fully I mean uh, charging conditions similarly if you are removing this one so like we are simply we are removing the load from the network sorry source from the network so in that case the load will receive a power from the battery right is it clear yeah 
so like that uh, we have to uh, simulate this one so here uh, I, I have took a battery current measurement so I am just mentioning uh, 15 ampere is the maximum 15 ampere uh, which we are going to allow to charge it see minus by minus denotes the charging of the current plus denotes the uh, discharging of the current and uh, this uh, this error will apply to the PA controller again this is a basic uh, PA controller so uh, just use it for your applications the duty cycle may vary from 0 to 0.95 right and after that this is the PWM duty cycle uh, PWM duty cycle switching frequency is 10 kilohertz and then sample time is 5, 5 per minus 6 so from this you just uh, take a output and then connect to the uh, switch 1 and then in invert the pulse and then just connect to the second switch so now let us see the demo now let us see the demo yes yes so now let us see the demo uh, see here now the source is not connected to the uh, network so that's why it's source 0 so during this one uh, it will be connected now we are i have connected the source to the network so now i have connected to the uh, source to the network so let us check so initial uh, the battery uh, status see here uh, till uh, 0.8 second till 0.8 seconds the battery is not connected to the source so in that case the battery tries to discharge it right so discharge it so in that case uh, see here the current will be in the positive mode current will be in the positive mode and similarly whenever we are switching over from charging uh, discharging to charging circuit right so charging circuits the maximum current will be so there will be a, some a spike so for that one we have to uh, assign again assign the external circuit to regulate this uh, transients so this will be a very fraction of seconds and uh, see here this minus uh, 15 uh, ampere denotes that uh, the uh, battery put under the charged mode right suppose if you are going to buy a charger uh, for your EV battery then uh, inside the module so there will be a similar kind of circuit will be there similar kind of circuit will be there to uh, charge your battery so this is simplest powertronic logic circuit to, to generate your charging as well as the discharging while it is in the constant current mode similarly we can go with the constant voltage uh, method also constant voltage yes see here this is the constant voltage first we took a constant current as well as the constant voltage see here the constant uh, voltage as it is the battery is the 24 voltage so now we are going to allow maximum voltage about uh, 26 voltage we have to allow so in that case it will keep on monitor and then the minus denotes the negative current reference and uh, with the actual actual current so this is again the same scenario so let us check the two scenarios one is without source and another one is with, uh, with the source so now we are running the uh, circuit without source and after some time we can connect to the uh, connect the source to the network yes just a second the demo can be finished yes see here uh, this time good connect now the switching uh, source is connected to the switch so in that case what it will happen yeah one earlier it was the negative discharge mode now it is a charged mode and now we have assumed that uh, for the charging yeah, the voltage must be a constant one right so the charging the voltage must be a constant one see here after the transients so it will reach us to the 25.96 or 26 voltage will be the approximate voltage so like that uh, the both the uh, circuit needs to be automated uh, both the charge as well as the discharge with the certain levels
okay so in the internship portal you can download this entire uh, sheet and also i have given the uh, step by step procedure how to develop these uh, projects in the internship portal if you are interested you can join in the internship and then you can download get benefited similarly i have one more demo for you So let us stop this one. Yeah, see here uh, all these things has been automated. See, uh, uh, initially the load is connected to the 48 voltage, right? So at any cost, the load needs to be 48 voltage. Load needs to be 48 voltage. Suppose if it is a source is there or not, whatever it is. Right? So in that case, we have to measure the load voltage. We have to measure the load voltage. And second thing, we have to sense whether this uh, source is available or not. Suppose if you are applying one, so what it will be, then uh, the PWM will not take in care of the uh, controller part. So this automatically will uh, connect it to the uh, load right so this load will get always 48 voltage in other case suppose if you are uh, disconnecting the load from the source from the circuit so in that case what it will happen so the controller loop so this is the uh, controller loop the 48 voltage we are going to monitor this one yeah so now you can easily climb, verify so 46 voltage uh, we are going to monitor this one and then we are getting the uh, error so from this we are just okay, enrolling into the uh, connected to the PE controller so this is again trial and error method I have kept this one so just to use this same one you can get uh, the things so the upper limit is the 21 voltage lower limit will be the 0 voltage and after that this is a simple switch case uh, simple switch case if there is a input source is available then i will take this is a reference if it is not there then this voltage will be the reference voltage right so uh, from this one uh, the pa controller will work the controller will generate a pulse with the modulation this is simple PA, pwm generator so at any point we have to get a, uh, a, a duty cycle from this uh, controller okay so now let us uh, give you the demo just let us run for a few few seconds just uh, please uh, wait for this one yes just to run the simulation So now uh, let us connect the source to the network then the load voltage should be yeah so 48 voltage so and after that whatever we are uh, regulating that is the 46 voltage so that also will be regulated but uh, the battery voltage is 24 voltage only right so now again let us remove the battery sorry source So now again uh, the terminal voltage is returned to the for uh, battery voltage. So the bidirectional circuit, the bidirectional circuit uh, supplies the reference voltage 46 voltage from the 24 voltage battery voltage. So in the same scenario will be applicable for the electric vehicle system. So in the electric vehicle system, the EV battery pack will charge uh, via the OBC charger whenever it uh, fully charged, and after that the same circuit will give you the battery output. Right, so the same scenario you can use it for your applications. So let us measure the battery parameters. See here, uh, during this period, the source has been uh, the during this period the source has been connected to the battery by, uh, source, and the remaining period uh, the source has been removed. So in that case, the load receive a same voltage 
the same regulator voltage from the battery pack from the battery pack so for this entire process has been automated with this controller right so entire battery pack has connected uh, automated with this controller so just try to use this one to get your research purpose yes so now uh, let us uh, move to the next demo in the bms model yeah see here uh, let us take the bms model so now we are going to charge the battery as well as the discharge the battery see here in this example in this example uh, for, uh, by default uh, the matlab will give you the soc value right so in the battery pack in the battery pack we can measure the soc but in the real time conditions you have to identify uh, the soc value what is the current scenario of the soc value so for that one uh, there are a few methods are available so we will check in the soc estimation class so in that uh, in the class we will uh, discuss in detail what is a soc how we can use it so now in the bms we are going to use the module uh, to automate the charging uh, as well as the discharging of the circuit right so we have uh, we have chosen the soc value and uh, so this soc is connected to the alga i mean the controller uh, bms controller algorithm see uh, this soc is given as a input then the output is the automations whether uh, the battery should connect to the charge or load so let us take let us assume this is the charger and this is the ev vehicle right so like that we can automate the uh, battery so actually in the, which means that at a uh, certain level see uh, after 20 percent of your battery then you, uh, you should not allow to discharge to the zero so in that case simple logic we can under, we can uh, include in this uh, algorithm right so this is the uh, matlab flowchart algorithm uh, we are taking the soc uh, current uh, current value of the soc uh, of the battery so just go into this uh, battery chart the matlab chart so here we are we are taking the input so we are taking the input uh, soc suppose if soc is greater than 80 so what it will happen the p that is called a p will allow to p is zero right the variable p is zero suppose if soc is uh, less than 20 so in that case the p is 1 so the p is nothing but the switching status p is nothing but the switching status so which means that if a battery soc is less than 20 percentage then we have to connect a source if there is a more than uh, it reaches the 80 percent then your battery is ready to connect your load simple these two functions we have automated similarly you have to automate all the functions temperature you have to include it and uh, over current over short i mean over voltage short circuit voltage short circuit current all these functions needs to be automated with this algorithm like this algorithm right simple algorithm which, uh, which you can use it for your research applications yes yeah thank you so now let us check the output I am going to run the simulation for 1000 seconds. Yeah. So now I am going to uh, yeah. see, see here. Uh, so initially the battery has charged. yeah see here uh, the algorithm allows your battery to charge till 80 percent once if the ba uh, battery is reached 80 percent then uh, the algorithm allowed to discharge it so till 20 percent so whenever it reaches the 20 percent again it will reaches to the 80 percent for the charging so like that we can automate the uh, load as well as the OBC, obc charger right so is it clear so like that you have to automate your uh, uh thing so and again here this is the current uh, while, while you are changing to the uh, uh charging as well as the discharging mode the transients will be there so for that one again we have to add additional circuit to limit the current additional circuit to limit the current 
right so now you can ask your questions so if you have anything so this is very simplest uh, bms algorithm so like that we have to implement all these algorithm to enable your battery and write question and uh, these are the BMS ready made modules like uh, electronic circuit you can get it so this is simple electronic circuit for lithium ion battery and uh, in, in India uh, also there are you can get lot of uh, BMS models right so this is a very basic BMS models I will share you some link you please visit the link to get more idea about it BMS for 48 voltage 50 ampere Yeah. So just to visit this link, just to visit this link to get more about. Just to visit this link. So there are in this link uh, you can get lot of uh, BMS models. So you can use it for your applications. The cost also uh, like at 4400 rupees only. So, if it is a requirement, you can use it. Yes. And I will share you the reference design. So, just to visit this link also. So, this is the complete BMS uh, reference design. So, I have shared complete reference design uh, which is from the Texas Instruments similarly uh, TA also, Infineon also I have shared, so please check it so just to visit this uh, link this, uh, just to visit this link uh, to get uh, to get a complete BMS circuit. Can we get a evaluation board with the PCB? Yeah, you can get it. If you are need a BMS model, so please WhatsApp me. I will share you the details. 9984097448. Thank you, Tanisha. How to identify which battery is how much plates? So from the data sheet only you can identify those informations. So I have shared these two reference designs. One is from the Texas Instruments and another one is from the uh, Infineon. So just to visit the uh, link to understand more about the BMS models. Thank you, Hari Aran. Thanks for your uh, valuable comment. Yeah. What is the component name in library mi bidirectional microcontroller? See the bidirectional, uh, not a microcontroller, bidirectional powertronic circuit. So you have to identify this circuits, these circuits. So this is the MOSFET and uh, these two are the MOSFETs and other electronic circuits. Other uh, resistance and then inductance. Yes. Internship certificate is valuable, yes, exactly because these certificates are certified by APSDC. Vanilla, there is a small change in the first wave from out, in out, in output, second cycle is 80 more than its 80 value. Small deviations will be there. So for that one, you have to uh, improve the algorithm uh, steps. How SOC is measured? Uh, so please visit, uh, please attend the tomorrow class. 
chair matlab model so it's available only for the internship people what is the use of capacitor to regular uh, to filter the output how to go for lead acid uh, see actually this circuit common for everyone ev uh, struggle while limping uh, it's is due to heavy weight yeah for that one you have to increase the motor power thank you jitender what is some popular bms model see actually there is no any standard bms model sai shiva sir i didn't get my internship certificate so please whatsapp me your email id uh, after this live i will respond you 9840974408 how are soc and then soh different so soh is the health area and then soc nothing but the charge which is remaining available so in the h depends the uh, temperature factor also please discuss selection of battery rating by considering ev motor specifications selecting the bms see uh, you guys first you have to uh, just recheck the yesterday class uh, first you have to identify the battery sizing so once if you identify the battery sizing like voltage and then uh, uh, battery current after that only you have to go to the uh, google and then identify the bms model when we get internship certificate by end of this uh, 25th uh, you may get a internship certificate how uh, we how can we design our own uh, bms circuit just follow the uh, bms algorithm to implement your uh, options can you explain soc so please attend tomorrow class i will explain you soc how to implement it so there is simple logic in the matlab but in the real time there are uh, different logics are there how to connect bms with machine learning such as x boost x g boost so you have actually for this particular model you have to follow the data sheet to follow this one in the ti uh, link i have given you the complete reference uh, link so there will be each and every component uh, name and then uh, uh, circuit pcb design also there so please watch and watch it for lead acid bms is not mandatory i have shared so please check at uh, i mean uh, 748 link how how do i incorporate a bfc with the ac dc bidirectional generator for bms model uh see for this one you have to integrate all these things whenever you are uh, uh, incorporating BF, pfc will placed near by the obc model and after that uh, from the pfc you will get a dc voltage right so from this you can connect that one actually. yes please show the value block which block you are looking so please uh, comment again is battery charger for solar panels yes so you can use it for the solar panels applications how we charge let us it battery charging of the battery uh, ready made models are available battery charging models like if you spend just 500 rupees or 1000 rupees you can get it as nice battery charger for 12 voltage or 24 voltage rns you have to implement a uh, eppt converter from the solar converter how do i incorporate pfc with adc bidirectional bms 
see that's why I mean the first you have to identify the uh, OBC model. So in the OBC model only uh, the PFC model will be there. After the OBC model, so you will get a DC to DC voltage at all. Right. So here uh, uh, after the uh, DC to DC voltage, you have to incorporate the bidirectional DC to DC converter. So after that one. So the voltage level only you are going to change it. High precision position control, which type of motor is preferred? BLDC or uh, stepper? Uh, so, uh, stepper you can get more accuracy than the uh, BLDC. What is dynamic behavior of battery backup? So the, in the dynamic, under the dynamic behavior, so there will be a temperature behaviors and then current profile. So because actually here, uh, while you are estimating the SOC, the current keep on change. Yeah, each and every second it may change. We cannot predict. So in that case, the dynamic behaviors comes under this two topics. Uh, yeah, someone has needs this uh, circuit. See, this is the boost converter uh, circuit. Just use it REL, so inductance value and then capacitance value. And this is the uh, capacitance value, just 1000 microfarad. And then uh, very minimal in the resistance. That's it. And other things, no need actually. Nothing. This is load resistance, 6 ohm. 